Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the new Nitro Phantom Plus. I rode this binding at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day. There was warmer temps, zero winds, chop chunder ice, kind of just a mix of everything, and I rode them on my Ride Shadow Band snowboard with my K2 Thraxxus boots. When it comes to adjustability, you have two set screws on the heel cup to slide it in or out. The toe ramp can also be slid forward or backwards, that way you can center your boot on the binding. With the straps, you've got flip tabs on the toe and the heel. That way you just pop them up, slide it forward, slide it back, you're gonna be able to center it. With the forward lean adjustment, it is on a set screw, so you have to basically set it and forget it. And then with the high back, there is a slight bit of high back rotation, but in the process, you'll actually have to move the placement of the heel strap, so be aware of that. Otherwise, not a super amount of adjustability on this, but a decent amount. When it comes to the straps, the toe strap has a huge cutout. It is going to fit a multitude of boot shapes. The nice thing is this is designed with Vibram on it, so it's going to be extra grippy and stay locked in on the toe of your boot. With the heel strap, it's a multi-piece design providing ample padding. There is a center lock point right where the cutout is that gives this strap a lot of its rigidity so don't expect it to just buckle when you drive into it there's a little bit more play on the outsides the other thing to talk about is the fact that this is a multi-piece design with a lot of material this will stretch and break in which means you're going to have to probably readjust the strap later on as you use it more fresh out the box these ratchets were a little bit sticky but they did break in over time the nice thing about these is you have four ridges for it to climb on that ladder, which really gives you exceptional torque when you're cranking it down. Overall, these worked well. That one finger quick release does what you want it to do. I never had any problems with them prematurely releasing. Just out the box, they were a little bit sticky. As this is the Phantom Plus, it is a stiffer binding, which means stiffer high back. What you'll notice is you actually have this spine that's bolted on here that crosses across the high back. So what you get is a little more play at the top on the inside where that spine isn't, and then it's stiff right across it down to the bottom. What this is gonna do is just help with the power transmission. Now you'll notice also that this is anatomically cut just to match up to the calf of your leg. One thing I will say is compared to the older Phantom, this is a lower high back, so you're not gonna get as much calf bite. Then when we talk about the forward lean adjustment, that is a set it and forget it on a set screw. So once it's dialed in, that's it. This is a stiffer binding through and through. That's obvious, it's the Phantom Plus. Even with it having a mini disc, you don't get a ton of lateral play. The straps give you a little bit, but not a lot. You get a ton of forward and backward drive when you're going toe to heel in this, and you're gonna notice how much power you can push into that heel and toe strap when you're driving down. And then when you come back on to the high back and you're pushing on that heel, you're really gonna feel that as well. Basically, this is a free ride binding. This is a very damp binding. That new air dampening system plus the thicker heel pad really do a great job of absorbing chatter. It's not lifeless, but any kinetic energy that's coming from the board is pretty much gone before it hits the arch of your foot. Who's this binding for? The hard charging free ride guy that doesn't want an overly stiff dead binding. This is damp where it counts, but still lively. All right, it's a stiffer binding, that's for sure. You get good power out of it. What I like is that air dampening system. It does a great job of dissipating any chatter so you don't get foot fatigue. I also like that with the revamp of the high back and everything, they didn't go bigger, they actually went a little bit lower. You still get good power and torque out of it, but you're not getting that calf bite. The ratchets, they climb well, they do everything. Overall, it's a great binding. It does have three degrees of canting. I never noticed it, but maybe you will. Comparable bindings, the Bent Metal Solution, the Ride C10, the Rome Cleaver. All right, this has been my review of the Nitro Phantom Plus. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you gonna buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. 
If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.